Hi guys! I'm glad to welcome all of you in today's video, which is going to be about Sultan Pasha Attars, and I will share with you my favorites. And if you have ever met Sultan in real life, then you know that he is such an amazing person. He is humble, he's funny, and he's a true master of uh, creating gorgeous attars. When it comes to attars, it is hard. It is very, very, very hard to compete with him because he composes uh, brilliant stuff and uh, I have quite a few samples and uh, today I will talk you through my favorites because uh, even though there are so many fragrances that he creates, well, here's the thing, I will call his Atars perfumes or fragrances or scents, but the thing is Atar is uh, a form of perfume, but it is very concentrated. It is highly packed with uh, best ingredients out there, and that's why all atars smell way more intense than uh, normal perfumes, so that's why the tiniest amount goes a really long way. So with that being said, I highly recommend you guys to visit the official website of Sultan Pasha Tars to learn more about him and his uh, work. And also I had a pleasure to met him several times and we did a few interviews together and we have amazing chemistry. So those videos are one of my most popular ones. And if you want to see him and to hear him talking about his work, then definitely check out those videos. Links to them you will find in the description box below underneath this one, or I will also leave them on the screen for you guys. So, with that being said, let's get started talking about my favorites. And the first one is called Irisua, and uh, this is a fragrance that is super, super irisy. And as you know, iris flower is one of my most favorite uh, flowers and it is also one of my personal favorite uh, perfume materials and in here this iris is really powdery and that is what I love about iris. I love the powdery side of it but iris can be different. It can be more fresh, it can be very floral, it can be dusty, it can be even lipstick, makeup is smelling, and uh, in here it is balanced out by all the other purple flowers such as violets and even lilacs. And lilacs uh, really provide freshness to this scent, and heliotrope is that more sweet and makeup-y ingredient, which is pretty noticeable here, and I really like its dominance. And at the same time, there is also another team of flowers, such as carnation, rose, and jasmine, which are more in the background and not that intense, but they are still there and they make this perfume even more complex, even though main roles are played by the purple flowers, if you know what I mean. And there is also this peachiness. It smells like ripe peaches, it smells very fruity too. And in the base we have some potent uh, base notes such as amber, tonka, sandalwood, some woods and vetiver, but the main, the main role in here is uh, played by iris and I really like how it smells. To me it is a very teasing scent, it is a little bit melancholic and it is created for the lovers of iris flower, so that's why I really recommend all of you who love iris and purple flowers such as violets and lilacs to check out that fragrance. And Sultan also has another orisi, irisy perfume, which is very, very, very different from the previous one, and it is called Sohande Iris. And this fragrance is actually very interesting because this one is definitely way more sweet than the previous one. And uh, it is like a very gourmand, honeyed, uh, but perfumery scent. It doesn't smell realistically of food, it smells like a sweet perfume indeed. And another dominant note in here is opoponax, and I really love opoponax in the perfumery, and since it is so noticeable in here, I really like this fragrance, which also has that um, 
vanillic uh, and almondy texture, just pretty creamy and it smells of delicious oriental sweets, not in a sugary way, in the perfumey way and that is what I like about it. It has like this expansive perfumey vibe but it is a sweet, very sweet fragrance and it's like liquid sweets. I really really like this one. It makes you hungry. And another favorite of mine and uh, a bestseller, one of the most popular fragrances from Sultan Pasha is Enzar Rose. And I've heard so many people to rave about it and uh, so many people go crazy about Enzar Rose. And I totally get why, because this is this oriental, really deep, but at the same time somehow fresh, pale rose. It is kind of like the mixture of white and red roses with honey, with a lot of uh, real rare oud. It is not um, about synthetic oud. If you are a fan of a true and realistic oud, but you don't want it to be too much and too dominant and too much in the center, you want the oud being in the background, giving power to the rose, then Enza Rose is gonna be something you might really like. I would say that even though I totally see its mass appeal and why it is so popular and beautiful, I personally love uh, iris way more, maybe because I love irises more than roses, but this is a gorgeous, truly oriental, a little bit sweetened, uh, oody, uh, mysterious rose that you can wear on a date, that you can wear when you're going out in night, and this is just a very gorgeous, bold, full-bodied rose for men and women. And another favorite of mine, which is a quite interesting fragrance, is called Reve Narcotique. And this fragrance is kind of strange, uh, because it reminds me of my childhood, and I have absolutely no idea why, because I cannot think of a thing that had smelled like this. So the notes in here are floral, spicy, and animalic. And as you know, I am a huge fan of animalic perfumes. I love them being skanky, being synthetic, being natural. I love all sorts of animalic fragrances, but this one is my cup of tea because it is powdery, it is floral, it is very easy going, but it is surely animalic. Not be mistaken about this perfume, it is about animalic spirit and it is just like so alluring and very sexy like for me this is the sexiest and most wearable animalic from Sultan Pasha he has way more other super hardcore animalic fragrances that I'm not grown up for, <laughs> I have a feeling, but this one is just right up my alley it is like this sweet animalic ambergris with maybe some sexy and daring tuberose and it has like this surely powdery undertone. It is a very powdery perfume and uh, that's why I like it very much and highly recommend men and women and that is just like Iris Noir and Reve Narcotique are uh, one of my most like two my absolute favorites from Sultan Pasha, but I also really enjoy this new Fougere that is called Fougere Noir, and if you want more information about it, check out our interview in which Sultan actually describes this fragrance, but I can tell you that even though I'm not the fan of Fougeres, I find they are definitely more masculine and even old-fashioned. This one is not. This is like uh, the song of trees in the forest. It smells quite piney, it smells like fur balsam, it doesn't smell too woodsy, it is more about um, the note of pine and um, it smells green, but it smells also fresh and uh, Sultan told me that there is coffee in here, maybe that is what makes it so interesting to me. I cannot really tell you that there is a gourmand twist, but there is surely a twist for me. And the notes list is insane, it goes on and goes on and goes on, so this is a multi-layered, super complex perfume. I would say that is more on the masculine side, and it smells classy, but for me it is somehow modern. So 
if you are the fan of really classy fougeres but you want something up to date i really recommend you fougere, fougere noir it projects intensely it is also mass appealing every time i put it on i feel so relaxed and people are attracted to it so i think you cannot go wrong with fougere noir and with that being said those are my absolute favorites from sultan pasha i love all of them they are perfect for different situations I love Iris Noir, Iris Noir on the everyday basis. The other Sohan Iris more uh, when I am in the mood for sweets. Um, then the Animalic Powdery Floral one is just like my obsession. And the Rose is just like very easygoing scent. And Fougé Noir is the one that I use um, like less often, but it is still gorgeous and uh, I think it would be especially great on men and you can wear it even to the office, just not too much. So with that being said, if you have any fears from Sultan Pasha, let me know which ones you like. If not, definitely check out his stuff and I hope you enjoyed watching this video and if so, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because that will help me out a lot and uh, stay tuned, smell good guys and we'll see you in the next one really soon. Bye!